They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left all my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression. It's all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I summon and dub it. Cause check out problems on problems. What's going on, people? It's the Xbox. 448 four, and today guys I got a really interesting video for you uh, of course it's about the next series of hardware that's ready to drop in 2020 um, unless you have been you know living under a rock or something like that you know that Xbox came out first in unveiling actually showing their new system and and with that of course you know you always get some details about the power, about uh, features, about things that the company is doing to improve the gaming experience. So with the brand new Xbox, which used to be called Project Scarlet, but now we know it as Series X, um, there was a couple pieces, uh, bits of information and I, I do, I'm looking at a PCGames.com uh, article talking about one of the features. And that would be variable rate shading. Which um, Xbox and Microsoft have come out and said that it, this is patented by uh, Microsoft. Now, the thing is, VRS, or, or variable rate shading, just to let you know. Uh, it gives the developer the option of uh, kind of like scaling down the visuals, the, the, the textures, the graphics of um, things within a game that are off in the distance, uh, giving the GPU, you know, less stress uh, and, and giving the ability to developers to kind of really go in and detail the things that are closer to you, the things that are uh, that you're going to interact with, stuff like that. And, and kind of like the things that are off in the background, the things that you're not really paying attention to, uh, you know, could be scaled down, which, which is awesome. It, it deals with optimization and getting the most out of the hardware when you're developing a game. Now, um, first off, people were confused as to why this was patented because Vulkan, the API, uh, you know, that kind of is is the, I guess you could say competition for DirectX 12, uh, also has a VRS function. So, you saw the title, you know, uh, kind of like Xbox forcing Sony's hand. And he here's the reason why I I'm saying that. Because with DirectX 12, you have this VRS option. And from what I am looking into in terms of research Microsoft's VRS option is like head and shoulders above anything any other company is doing right now to the point where from what I'm seeing third-party developers are, are really uh, you know getting into using this DirectX 12 feature or tool in, in developing games now the reason why I'm saying that this is putting kind of like Sony in a corner here uh, for people who don't know Sony does not the PS4 does not kind of like it, it can't utilize DirectX 12 they went with uh, what they call OpenGL which is a different API uh, different set of tools uh, you know to make games to develop games or whatnot now with OpenGL they can use uh, Vulkan as their API you know to to develop games to, to create games and stuff like that but as you just heard me say the VRS which seems to be a very important component kind of like moving forward in, in development of the next series of hardware the console games that are coming to it uh, the VRS kind of like option for Vulcan is just uh, not up to par like you you need some some crazy stats to get it to where you can literally decide um, what things you're kind of like, kind of like bring down in detail per draw call uh, when it comes to these games. So with Vulcan's VRS option, it is very kind of like primitive. It, it, it's it's rough, but when you look at the VRS that's uh, patented by Microsoft within DirectX 12, 
uh, a lot more advanced I'm hearing it's a lot easier to use so with that being said the reason why I again am saying that Microsoft is possibly kind of backing Sony into a corner here is you know when it comes to Microsoft you know they, they have gotten a, a bunch of middleware they've gotten a bunch of like you know physics engines and stuff like that that a lot of a lot of developers use for games so basically um, Microsoft and Xbox they got their fingers in everything right uh, and, and this is just another aspect of that because if developers are really digging the tools for DirectX 12 and we know PS4 does not support DirectX 12 when it came down to it you know it was OpenGL you could use Vulkan with that I believe and uh, you know for games that are made with DX12 or whatnot you know the multi-plat games um, they actually had to refer back to DirectX 11 uh, to create the game for the PS4 because DirectX 11 was also acceptable as an API for the PS4 so with with such an advancement in VRS and I haven't seen I'm doing the research I haven't seen anything to where you know Vulkan is upgrading the that that option that tool uh, when it comes to developing with that API it looks like Microsoft might be getting to the point where Sony kind of has to use DirectX 12 moving forward. Now, the thing is, if they don't, if they don't, if they stay with a, a, a version of OpenGL, again, it, it doesn't support DirectX 12 or anything like that. What uh, the good chance, the, the, the result of this, the good chance of what will happen if Sony doesn't use DirectX 12 is something kind of similar to what we saw within the PS3 and the Xbox 360 era where you know when it came down to it of course multi-plats were played you know were made for both the 360 and the PS3 but 9.9 .9 times out of 10 the 360 version of the game ran better it had less glitches less frame drops stuff like that just overall ran smoother overall better experience when it came down to it and from my research right now it seems that if Sony doesn't adopt DirectX 12 they might be running into that same situation so when it comes to the PS5 when it comes to the Series X yes these are gonna be monster machines so uh, you know a lot of people saying that they're gonna be comparable in terms of power so any little kind of like benefit that either one of these companies gets is going to be a major step within kind of like comparing both of these consoles. So, you know, if you have one system that just overall plays like multi-plats uh, smoother, you get less glitches, you get less like frame dropping, uh, stuff like that. If you get one of those consoles that plays the multi-plats like that and plays it better, a lot of people will lean more towards that console I, I would think it's it's common sense in my opinion because at the end of the day yeah exclusives give like the personality the atmosphere of, of a console but for the most part the, the games that are played the most are are multiplats so you know with that being said I, I kind of see Microsoft here you know, with working on DirectX 12, improving its tools, uh, you know, really fleshing out its library, and then coming out with this new VRS option that is like head and shoulders uh, better than anything else on the market in terms of different APIs, it seems like Microsoft is kind of forcing Sony to look into DirectX 12 as their native API when it comes to the PlayStation 5. Now, again, if they don't do this, there could quite possibly be issues where, like I stated, went back to the 360 PS3 generation where, you know, multi-plats um, just ran better on the 360. So, um, I'm, I'm looking through this article. I will post a link to the article um, in the description below. So definitely take a look at this. now. 
it does start off with the the title is Xbox Series X confirms AMD RDNA 2.0 GPU support DirectX 12 variable rate shading and that title is a mouthful um, really does not roll off the tongue that well but like I said it's a uh, pcgamesn.com um, I will post a, a link in the description below but what do you guys think about this do you see something like this does this make sense to you are you into the tech kind of what's under the hood um, are you interested in, in news like this because I find this fascinating because you know uh, you know certain physics engines and, and, and stuff like that Microsoft has acquired so this way they are they are pretty much like I said they have their fingers everywhere just about every game that is developed has something from Microsoft um, and it seems like with their advancements they're they're pushing forward and they're kind of pressing Sony to use their flagship API with DirectX 12 um, as usual guys hit up the comment section I want to know what you think about this I want to know if you think this is all fluff of course we're gonna go back and forth I will let you know I am in my element right now like when they come out with information uh, that really goes under the hood of new systems they talk about new uh, new hardware uh, new features stuff like that that's where I really love to be that is some of the the news I really have fun making videos for so definitely hit up the comment section I want to know what you think about this guys um, it's going to be interesting. It's definitely going to be interesting. I'm going to keep my eyes on this and see if there's anything more that comes out of this. And of course, any other features, any other, you know, hardware improvements. I know I, I have to make my, my video about the Series X and what I think about, you know, the look, the name, uh, the different specs that we've gotten so far. Because, you know, uh, if I don't do it, everybody else already did it, man. I got to do it, right? Um, but yeah, so let, let me know what you think about this. I, I, again, it's very interesting to me, but, uh, as usual guys, if you like the topics, if you like the gameplay, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me as it does help this channel out a lot. It helps get the video out there. It helps to get more eyes on the video. And of course, you know, people can put down their opinions in the comments. So we get a more varied kind of like, uh, more varied opinions in the comments it just overall helps uh if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe but as for now this is the x spot 448 and i am definitely signing off